everyone, it's Ellie Pops and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Spooky Month 2017. And to kickstart this year's spooky season, we're going to begin with a massive, absolutely mahoosive Halloween haul. So without further ado, let's get into it because we have a lot to get through and I'm talking a lot. I think the only time I ever splurge, like ever, each year is on Halloween. Maybe Christmas, but more so on Halloween for like myself because I bloody love Halloween. Halloween is my most absolute favourite holiday and I am just going to warn you now that there may be more hauls in the upcoming season because at the moment as I'm filming this it is only September I think. Yeah it's only the 13th of September when I'm filming this so there's probably going to be loads of stuff that hasn't even come out yet because in England we don't celebrate Halloween as much as Christmas or as much as any other country like America. I know they celebrate Halloween mahoosively, so I know like a lot of stuff hasn't even come out yet, but this is kind of like an early haul, just so you can get in there now, get there quick and get all the bits that you want. So yeah, let's do this. So all the things today in my hauls have come from various different shops. So bear with me if I do forget which ones are which. Um, I know the ones that I have been to are HomeSense, Hobbycraft, the range, Wilkinson's, TK Maxx, and maybe a couple of other places. So please bear with me. I'm gonna try and remember as much as I possibly can about each product, but there's quite a lot. It's probably gonna be all muddled up because when I was unpacking it out of my bag, it all kind of fell into the boot and I just chucked it all back in bags. So we'll just see how this goes because I haven't done a haul in forever. This is gonna be fun. And also some of the stuff might not make sense because I have a couple of DIY Halloween videos coming up and I'm not going to try and explain too much what they're going to be or what their uses are because it's going to be a surprise for future videos but I'll just kind of skim past those items as quickly as possible. But do try and keep these items in mind because if you are going to do any of the DIY videos that I'm going to make you want to try and look out for these products and get them as soon as possible. So the first item we have here is definitely from Hobbycraft. So it's 30 tiny little wooden cut laser cut pumpkins and I thought these just looked really really cute they're such a good little idea because if you have kids you can just take these out paint them up all orange have a nice little craft day and then hang them around the house you can make bunting out of these that you can decorate these on like your spooky Halloween trees there's so many things you can do with these and they are just super adorable I think they were about two to three pound from Hobbycraft I'm not entirely sure but I do know these are on the website so you can check these out on there so very very cute and there is loads in here so it's plenty if you have like three kids you can get ten each if you have like a school they can have one each like there is a lot there's a lot of crafting possibilities here as well the next item here is also from Hobbycraft so it is a six pack of potion bottles I have seen on Pinterest people making their own like DIY jars and bottles but sometimes you know you just don't have time some people don't have printers and I thought these were a really good little idea so they're really really tiny Oh, I think I'll show you. They're really, really tiny, but you can fill them with like glitter, you can fill them with slime, and you can make them all multicolored and all the colors you like. But I just thought they were really, really cool again for like a spooky tree. So um, on here, it says Beware of the Skull and Crossbones, it says Tonic with a spider, it's got a little pumpkin Halloween one, which is Grove, a boo with a pumpkin, and Spooky with a cat. So here they are. You can't really see them, but I'm going to be using these for a future DIY. So you'll see more of these in the future anyway. But I just thought they were really cute. Again, these are about two pounds maybe. Again, they're on the website, so go check them out on there. The next thing is kind of odd. Okay, so it's a massive, 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 massive ball of three ply yarn, I think it is, or twine. So twine. And I'm planning again to do a lot of DIYs this Halloween and I just think twine is the best kind of autumnal decorating tool you will need. Again, you can use this for bunting, decorating Halloween trees, wrapping around like spoons and forks, covering them in PR, uh, PVA glue and then they go hard. Again, with hands, you can do a lot with this and I feel like I'm going to need a lot of this anyway because I just got a cry cut or crick cut, I can't remember how to say it, it's like a cutting machine and I'm planning to make some spooky labels and this is perfect for that. So there is a lot of stuff you can do. I think this was like three or four pound because it's quite big, but to be honest, you're gonna get a lot of usage out of this. And even if you don't use it all this Halloween, you got next Halloween. And 
Christmas. I have seen people using this to wrap their Christmas presents. I think Zoella even did a video on it where she like used this as ribbon around um, presents and then she stuck like acorns and stuff like that on the presents. So again, this is very useful and I just thought it was totally worth it considering Halloween and Christmas coming up. So very good buy, I think personally. The next thing I actually got in the range because it's a little bit cheaper than Hobbycraft for spray paints. However, I haven't used this brand yet. So it's black spray paint. Again, this is for DIYs, Halloween-y stuff. Kind of a must and need for everyday like decorating. I am a prop maker, so I'm gonna be using this for other stuff as well. So that's just something I needed. I think it was about four pound. And I think that's cheaper than Hobbycraft. However, if you are gonna get a lot of paints, Hobbycraft is a good place to go because they do 4 for 20 on the Montana spray paints. So if you need a lot of paints, you want to build up a collection, go there. And again, that is something you're going to need if you're going to be following my future DIYs for Halloween and Spooky Month. <laughs> the next thing I actually got today, and I thought it was really cute, and it was super cheap, I think. So it's this giant metallic pumpkin. So again, it's got a back piece. So it has a back piece here for candles or like electronic candles or light bulbs or fairy lights, whatever you like to put in there to light things up. It's made of, pretty sure it's ceramic, but it has this kind of metallic kind of sound, but I'm pretty sure it isn't metal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a ceramic thing, but it feels ceramic, it feels delicate, like if you drop it, this is gonna smash. But I just thought this was really, really cool. So I don't know if the detail is picking up really well on camera, but it's metallic, but it's kind of an aged metallic, if you can see here between the lines of the pumpkin. It's kind of like chippy and kind of vintage style and I just really like that style. However, I did notice when I was queuing up with this, I looked at my t-shirt and there was like a ton of glitter on me and it's actually on my hands now. So it does kind of molt, which gives me hope that in the future it will look even more used and worn and um, like derelict and vintage. At the moment it is kind of brand new and like still shiny and that's what I went for when I bought it but in the future when it does get all like matted and horrible it's still going to be a really cool Halloween kind of decoration because that's what you kind of want. You want it to be more spooky than you know this kind of style. But I do like it and I do love his little face. Look at that. He's like, so cute. Love him so much <laughs> and he was only five pound can you believe that he's pretty damn big compared to all the stuff that's in the range um and tk maxx their stuff is pretty expensive i'm talking like for have some footage of when i went shopping i'll try and insert some here but there was these like string bunting of little felt ghosts they were really cute but there was only 10 ghosts so it wasn't even that big, I reckon like a yard or two. And that was £12. So that's something that will definitely get worn away really easily. Felt, it isn't very sturdy. So all the eyes and the like embellishments on it will fall off really quickly. And that was £12. And this is something, if as long as you don't drop it and break it, this is something that will last pretty much forever. Like, I don't know, I just, I just, I think this is really good value for money. So if you're gonna get a decoration this year, wanna spend a fiver, mate. Wilkinson's, Wilkinson's. They did have um, a Halloween display at the front of the shop as well. And I went to ask someone to tell me where the rest of the Halloween stuff was, because I literally got him off the display. And they was like, oh yeah, it's over there. And I was like, right, I've been over there three times <laughs> and I don't see anything. And then I asked the security guard and he was like, he took me to this aisle and I was like, oh yeah, thank you. And he was like, yeah, it's here. And I was like, thanks. And I was looking and I was like, this is the bloody toy section, it's the kids section, what, what am I doing here? Like, it was literally, you know, like Shopkins and Barbies, it was literally the toy aisle, I don't know what he thought I said, but Halloween aisle does not sound anything like toy aisle. Whatever, I'm gonna go back um, within the coming month or two, just to check out and see if they've got anything else that will update you on any more stuff, but cheap bargains like that, pretty damn good. And the next thing I got is another DIY craft thing that you should pick up if you're going to follow my DIYs. So the first thing I got from Hobbycraft is this. It's a H and S collection, but it's basically a little set of cut circular boards of wood. So like it's still got the tree bark on and stuff like that. Not really much to explain. It's very plain at the moment. It's not very spooky. But again, if you follow me and um, subscribe, 
you will see in the future upcoming videos of Spooky Month what I'm going to do with these. And you can have a little guest down below if you like as well. Also, if you like, if you write down something that's actually a better idea than what I've got, then I'm probably going to use it. <laughs> uh, the next thing I got, again, something to possibly buy if I do this video, is one of these Calico Natural Recycled Cotton uh, shopping bags. So again, this is only a pound, so that's pretty good. Oh, and I think that little wooden set was five pound. Not sure, but you do get four in there, so it's not too bad. Maybe you're going to do crafts with your friends, and if you go in at these, like, multiple buy things, you can share them. And it works out a lot cheaper. The next thing I got is some of these giant letters. So I got three of these that say BOO. This is, again, something that you can buy for the future DIYs coming up. Obviously, I'm going to decorate these, but we'll see how I decorate them. I think these were £2 each. But sometimes you've got to look out for it. They do do like specials and you can get these for like a pound. So keep going back. Um, if you're not too sure, keep going back and wait for them to go on sale because they do go on sale now and again. Um, the next thing I got is another little set of letters. But these are like uh, laser cut wooden letters. And I just thought they were really, really pretty. I know it's not very Halloween-y, but I'm going to make it Halloween-y. So it's these little letters, again from Hobby Craft. These ones were only a pound. So this isn't too bad, and they come with a little bit of twine. See, it's twine. Twine is very good if you want to keep a style going. So yeah, I got these for a pound, and I'm gonna spooky them up. So you'll see that in a future video as well. The next thing I got is a ball of black yarn. Again, something else for more DIYs coming up. I think this was only two pounds. It was in the cheap section. But yeah, 100 grams of black cotton there. Cool, cool. I've <laughs> uh, so got some more basic materials. So just some black card. I think this is four pounds for 50 sheets, not too bad. Again, that's gonna be used in my um, new cutting machine. I'm gonna be making some bunting and stuff like that for Halloween. I might even put some up on Etsy if they end up really, really good. So make sure you keep checking out my Etsy as well. And lastly from Hobbycraft, I think, there might be more in the bag, but I got some, again, basic, just crafty bits. So some orange paint, some black paint, and some white paint. Um, I have to admit, the, the paints in Hobbycraft are quite expensive. I think these were like three pound each. Can't remember, but you're maybe better off getting a set. It's like 20 pound for like 30 paints or something. And if you're not gonna use too much, it will last you a very, 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 very long time. But I do have a lot of paints upstairs because I do props and artistry. So I only needed to top up with these colors and I always, always run out of black and white. I mean, you can get the set, make sure you get like another tub of black and white because it's like the only two colors that run out the most <laughs> unless you're painting like trees and then you need like green and brown but you know what i mean <laughs> oh no i got one more thing in here from hobby craft so it's these are so cool i really really like these like these would have been a lifesaver last year during spooky month when i did the um monster cupcakes and such so these are candy eyeballs i thought these were really 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 cool Look at them. So they're basically just little white candy with um, black raised bits of candy that are dyed to look like eyeballs. And I just thought these were great. And they had these in like different styles. So they had really, really big ones, really, really small ones like this. I think they had even smaller ones. And they even had ones which were like, which had like an eyelid with a bit of makeup and like eyelashes. So if you wanted to do like girlier ones. But yeah, they were, I think they're really, really cool. And again, if you could be decorating, um, cake pops, cakes, biscuits for Halloween or even like pretzels or anything really. I mean these just make anything, any food item spooky. So I thought these were a great little purchase. I think these were about two or three pound. Can't quite remember but very cool. These are one of my favourite items this year so far. I like the craft stuff I mean not like the high end beautiful stuff which we'll see in a second okay so moving on to the range or tk maxx because they're like a sister company um a lot of the stuff you'll find in tk maxx you'll find in home sense and vice versa so make sure you check out both though and a lot of stores because i've been in three tk maxx's so far a lot of stores don't have the same stuff or they have some have less and some have more so you gotta like have a browse around both shops really the range has a lot more range <laughs> that was lame yes yeah, so the range has a lot more variety they usually have a lot more items um maybe as it moves closer to halloween they'll both get even bigger i remember last year the range had a lot better 
had a lot better. Uh, that doesn't sound right. The range had a lot more unique and beautiful uh, kitchen items. And this year, I'm actually getting really into kitchen items. Like, I don't know if it's because I've been binging on binging with Babish, but I want all the cooking stuff and I want like an amazing kitchen now. So one day when I eventually move out of my parents' home, I'll have a really cool kitchen. <laughs> and I'm preparing for that now with all the items I've gotten so far. So this is actually a gift for my mum because she loves Halloween too. At least I think she used to, she used to love it a lot more, but I don't know. I think as she's gotten older, I don't know, maybe the passion's dying a little bit for it. But I know she still likes witches and stuff, hence the I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a giant which is cottage light over there and um castle thing here that's all her stuff and like witches and stuff up here that's all her stuff so i got this for her so they are four it's a set of four stainless no stemless sorry a set of four stemless wine sets so basically wine cups um 16 ounces without a stem and they are just beautiful here they are so they are fully black with golden and slightly coloured embellishments on. You can't really see. I'm just going to show you and I'll read out what they say. So this one is a witch's hat. This one's a cauldron with a bubbly kind of effect. Um, and this one says witch's brew and this one says drink up witches. And I just thought these were so beautiful. It's kind of a classy kind of um halloween cup set i think so i think they're very classy very beautiful and i think they're great if you're gonna have like um some friends just some friends around for halloween say you're just having a girly sleepover you've got your three best friends coming you're gonna watch some spooky movies get a wine out you know and maybe cook some spooky food this i think is great for that i just think they're so beautiful they're so modern but still have this kind of vintage kind of cool look about them i think they're really pretty and i really really like these but like they're really nice and i think yeah these are only eight pound so eight pound for four glasses that's two pound a glass you can't go wrong really that's pretty damn good <laughs> so very 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 nice item from the range and or tk max i think it was the range yes the next item is not from the range this one is actually from b and m and i think this was only 14 pound i'm not sure pretty sure it was 14 pound and the reason i got this is because i've always wanted a foggy kind of machine so it is a cauldron set but it's one of them fog cauldron sets and i've always wanted one to be honest i think they just like make great little effects however this one caught my eye by the text on it so basically it creates creepy atmospheric mist creepy color changing light effects uses cold water with no boiling and no scalding and no need for special liquids that sounds really really cool and i don't understand how it works originally i thought it was like a heating mechanism inside that boils the water and creates steam you know like the vaping cigarette things it creates like a kind of a vape i don't know but it says there's no boiling no scalding but yeah so it creates an eerie mist that flows out of the cauldron and i thought this was really really cool and i may even do a video a review video of this just to show you how it works and if it works at all. So we will see. But we're gonna move away from this because I may do another video reviewing this. So cool little buy, anyway. So the next thing I got, I got this from the range as well when I got my um, spray paint. I think like they didn't actually have, this was quite annoying actually, they didn't have any price tags up at the time. Me and this lady were looking at it and I thought it was really cute. And I thought a fiver, like, that's the most it should be. I think it turned out to be about £14, which I'm a little bit annoyed about, but at the same time, it is something you're going to keep forever, and it does have a really nice vintage kind of feel, and it is really nicely decorated. I think this may be even handmade, hand-painted, because you can still see the staples that are holding this together, giving it that vintage kind of feel. 
I kind of don't want to say it, but it is kind of like like janky, like kind of um, rustic, that's the word. So it's like a rustic kind of piece. And you know what, I really do like it. I like it a lot. The only thing that gives it kind of a tacky kind of feel is if you see there's like holes here, here and here and a couple in the mouth. And that is because it does connect to a little battery pack at the back and it has these little fairy lights. And I don't know how bright these are just yet, but they don't look to be, they don't, they don't look like they're gonna be that bright. So they're not exactly gonna be something that lights up the entire piece of a night. It will just literally be like dots in like the background or in your garden or something. So I don't think the lights were necessarily needed. I think this is more of a daytime sunset kind of decoration um, or, you know, for parties and stuff. I wouldn't leave this outside personally. It might be weatherproof, but I personally wouldn't leave this outside. For one, it does have electronics which will rust. And two, I don't know how well they have painted this. It does kind of just look like a wash of paint. It doesn't look like anything permanent. So personally, I wouldn't leave it outside just in case it rained. It would ruin it and it's quite expensive in a way. It's like a 10 hour or 14 pound, whatever it was. I can't remember. But I think it's a nice little piece. I do like it. I really like it. Obviously, because I've all win. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna lift this up because this bag's getting, it's heavy. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Oh my gosh, okay, so this is absolutely beautiful. This is from the range, it costs £9.99, and I just love it so much. Again, I'm having like a cooking kitchen kind of phase moment where I really enjoy cooking and baking because of Babish, I think he's got me into it. But check this out. Look how beautiful this is. So it is a mixing bowl, it's pretty big. Pretty deep, you can get your whole hand in here. And it is a pumpkin face. And if you don't know, I love pumpkins. I only bought this jumper because I think it, it reminds me of pumpkins, because it's orange and it has a black bit here. And everyone knows it as my pumpkin jumper. So this is just brilliant. It's one of my favorite purchases so far, I think. There is another thing I remember that's really beautiful as well. I'll have to show you that in a bit. But this, I love it so much. Isn't it just beautiful? Oh, it's like really nicely painted. Each line has like this delicate kind of lighter kind of paint to give it depth. Um, it's made by a company called Terramoto Ceramic. Um, Craft in China, microwave and dishwasher safe. So I just think it's really beautiful. And on the back, it even says Happy Halloween in a really nice creepy, kind of font you can tell this was done by stencil though because they there is like this lighter kind of effect here where the stick has been peeled off and we do this at work so i can see it i mean maybe you wouldn't notice it as much but there is a little bit of a line here they could have done that better but i just love this bowl so much i don't even care and anything anything wrong with it would just add to it because pumpkins are never beautiful in real life that's what makes them cute, is they're each individual and weird and bumpy and, oh, I just love this so much. This is one of my most favorite things. I'm gonna be using it for like spooky mob DIY cooking videos for definite. Beautiful, love it. The next thing I got, this was again from The Range and they are £2.50 each. And I just thought they were really, really cool. And again, these are gonna be something that's gonna be used for a future upcoming DIY video. So if you do want to follow along with like recipes and DIYs that I'm going to be doing, make sure you go out and buy these. They are really cool. So basically, they are just fafel, I think that's how you say it. Fafel, fafel pasta. It's pasta, the bow-shaped pasta. And they are each individually dyed. So this one is the orange one, which is really cool. That reminds me of pumpkins again. This one is the red one here really really cool as well has a nice kind of bloody kind of theme and last one is my absolute favorite and this one was made with squid ink to make the black so it, yeah it is a black version as well which kind of has this like Tim Burton-esque kind of feel about it doesn't it I just really really like these these are really good for parties and I'm hoping to have a Halloween party um, nearer October <laughs> at the moment it is still September but I just thought these were a great idea to do a couple of videos with, so I got these and they're just really cool and creepy and I want to make some cool and creepy pasta. <laughs>
The next two things I have in here are again from the range and these are again a couple of my favourite pieces that I've gotten so far out of this haul. Um, I don't think there's much left after this that's like too creepy themed. It will make sense to me but not so much to you. But anyway, let's just get on with this. So the first one and these are, I think they were 3 dollars each, yes that's right. 3 dollars each and they are these beautiful plates. Okay, so this is the first one, it is a skull. It is embellished with white and black um, ink on the inside and then a gold kind of frosting effect inside it as well. It's roughly the size of just, you know, like a little dish plate, whatever it is, just like this big. I don't know how to describe it, like my face. It's about the size of my face. <laughs> I'm really bad at describing, I don't know why I do hauls. But I thought this was really cool. And the back is uh, this magnificent gold colour. And it again, it gives off this feeling of like a rustic kind of vintage, old school style Halloween. And that's what I'm going for this year. So this is the first one, very nice. Of the, of the two is my absolute favourite. And you can see why. Look at that. Isn't it just beautiful? Oh, just love it so much. Again, it is a pumpkin. It has this Tim Burton-esque kind of stems. So it's black and white striped. It has gold features around the mouth, the nose, and the eyes. Again, a very nice de detail in the pumpkin lines itself. I love the face. And again, really nice, beautiful golden plate back as well. And I just, oh. Oh, I just love this plate so much. Like, I don't even have a kitchen of my own. But this plate, mate. <laughs> I needed this plate in my life. And couldn't say no. This is beautiful. I have no idea what I'm going to use it for. Maybe some decorational cooking video end clips or something. But I, I, just, I just needed it. I needed it. And I got it. And it's beautiful. I love it so much. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh I'm crazy. I'm crazy. And this is another set of items I got from the range as well. This is again the cooking section. This was only five pounds, so four ninety nine, five pound, and it's a set of four Hallows Eve shot glasses. I thought these were really, really cool as well. So one is a spider, one is a bat, one is a skull, and one is a cat. You will see these in future videos. I've got a couple of ideas on where to use these, but these are made by Hallows Eve. I think they are a new company to the range for Halloween. Um, I think they were the people that did these as well. Now this is Primo Design, made in New York, yada yada yada. There is a couple of other things I've seen made by this company. If you can hear really heavy breathing, that is my dog. She's asleep just there. And she's in one of those deep, deep sleeps where she's like kicking and got her eye open and weird. <laughs> so it's not me making snorty noises, it is. Bonnie over there. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so again, as I was saying, Hallow's Eve, I think that's a new company to the range and I'm very looking forward to what else they're going to release in the upcoming month or two. Month, upcoming month, upcoming few weeks because hopefully they have um, a few more new stuff to come out as well. So very cool. Little shot glasses there. Pretty cheap, I think. Yeah, I think mean, that's not bad. Five pounds for four shot glasses, not bad at all. The next thing I got was actually from a shop called Dunelm Mill, or just Dunelm, I think it is now. But it is just some orange feather boa and some black ribbon. This is something that's going to be used in an upcoming video. So you don't really need to see it. I'm not going to take it out. The feathers will go everywhere. I think that costs like two pounds. So again, if you want to prepare, get some orange feather boa or whatever feather boa you like, the thin ones and some black lace, um, whatever design you like. And lastly, we have some Poundland stuff. This is, again, for an upcoming video. So we've got a down-in-one shot spin game. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about these. They are a pound, they were from Poundland, but you are gonna see like full-on details about these later. I've got some rawhide dog bones. I got some, I don't know what these are actually. They're called wooden divers, and they have little numbers here and I think they're like a garden tool, and it says it's in the garden section. Um, wooden dibber makes it easier to plant bulbs and seeds. So I got three dibbers, 
And also I got this, which says homegrown tastes better. And it won't make much sense now, but it will in a future video for Spooky Month. So that is absolutely everything. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and leave a comment below if you did. And I'll try and do some more hauls in the upcoming weeks towards Halloween. It will probably be spooky themed and Halloween themed items because we are getting going into spooky month now. My most favorite month because it's all spooky and horror themed items and I just love Halloween so much. It just sucks that we don't celebrate it here as big as they do in America. One day I'll go to America for Halloween and it'll be amazing. But again, as I was saying, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!